It's the fact that I can't come on here and say that I love black men without there being an entire uproar. Like genuinely, I could come on here and say that I love black women and no one would bat an eye. But the fact that all of a sudden black men are involved, somehow there isn't a genuine reason to love black men. So many Americans' minds are still so colonized and still so indoctrinated by racial pseudoscience from hundreds of years ago is astounding. There is so much work that needs to be done. Like, people cannot fathom the fact that I could love a black man for something aside from his body. I can't fathom the fact that I genuinely enjoy being around black men. Sadie, wait a minute, that's my girl, dog. I don't give a fuck, God sent me to piss the world off. OMG, I never noticed. Thank you for this brand new life-changing information. Bus driver here, brothers, and the ladies, and the haters that are most definitely watching. Yeah. So, I know you've been, some of y'all may be wondering why I haven't posted. I got some holes in my mouth, so. You'd be wondering why I haven't posted in a while. Well, it's due to the fact that I've been chilling. I've been chilling, watching what's been going on in the space. What's been going on to, uh, with black men in the space? The black manosphere, the uh, the black sector of YouTube, if you will, all this drama that has unfolded over this snow bunny, and then all the drama that came out, the subsequent after effects and shit. So, what's been going on, right? You got multi-millionaires or people who purport themselves to be multi-millionaires having to explain themselves in the court of the scraggle daggle and shit. And it's like how are you explaining yourself to a BW who's not on your level? You got strippers out here trying to hold brothers or call brothers out on the carpet for their supposed allegiance to said snow bunny. Right? Supposedly fine ass BW strippers out here. Supposedly eight, nine on the, on the scale of, you know, Kevin Samuel's attractiveness scale would be considered a seven, eight, I guess. Maybe a nine, I don't know. Stripper chick has got black men who are supposedly multimillionaires pulling up on their channel wondering why they're falling out brothers out here flying hoes from different area codes into their home to meet their wives and shit and then when the scraggle daggle does what the scraggle daggle always do Folks is kind of acting surprised.
the scraggle daggle holding the multi-millionaires families hostage the digital image hostage to get his attention to get him to apologize because they felt butt hurt over a live stream where some other chick got frustrated and left the stream. Then we got other YouTube comment cr content creators critiquing the situation. Trying to talk about how they are how they, the black manosphere, has been holding the line, holding these BWs accountable, which is total cap, as the young kids would say. Total cap. The black manosphere tried, but it sold itself to those very same people that they complain about. They sold themselves to the ops. Y'all brothers, while you are listening to my, my rant, my commentary on the latest drama, take a look at these brothers with their own just pearlies in their lives. Some of them are Asian pearls. Some of them are Latin pearls. And some of them are plain vanilla pearls, but they're all pearls. But the fact is this, I've been watching these panels where these men are having these discussions with these women, and what I find is Folks are going over the same subjects that's been already been regurgitated hundreds of times. Over and over and over again, brothers. Over and over and over again. And these sisters keep coming and acting as if they don't quite understand where these brothers are coming from. Or that they do, but yet they still cannot seem to conform. Because they refuse to. And the brothers break it down this way, that way. Up, down, left, right, backwards, forwards. Three dimensional, four dimensional, fifth dimensional. Times ten to the sixteenth power and shit. And these ladies still. Can't seem. To just. Act right. Even when the ones that say they are down with the team, say they understand, as soon as they have a disagreement where they do not want to get up off of their, their position or capitulate, they go back to the scraggle-daggle program. And this is what happens to, happen to one Anton Daniels. That's right, Anton Daniels is the multimillionaire. Who, 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 who trusted these broads, who helped these broads out, who flew them in to sit down, to have discussions, to have a personal talk, to broke bread with them, had them meet his wife, had them in her in his house, for them to flip the script, and now they can't stand him. Now it ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Now the agreement that he thought he was having amongst business partners, friends. He thought they were friends, but they're not friends. He realized that he has, they were, these BWs are, are not his friend. They never were. All it took was this one white chick to fracture the whole space, I guess, over there. 
but it was already fractured because again like i said in the last video you allowed these broads in you allowed the bw's in a long time ago you sold the community out a long time ago I mean, I had this discussion a long time ago, talking about how the black manosphere sphere has too many women in said sphere. And now you see, even though you say, people are saying, well, Mr. Anton and the Peef Network, and these people are not a part of said black manosphere. sphere. But just like when I say SYSBM is not a part of the black manosphere folks when they write up these pieces these hit pieces when people talk you know hate on the space or hate for the different groups and they always conflate and mix all those different factions under one umbrella called the black manosphere because it's easy for them to do so and it's it's easier from the track because a lot of the people bleed over into different spaces The BW tells you time and time and time again how they feel about you. And you men over there in those spaces keep going over and over and over and over again, trying to get them to understand. And then there'll be a whole new crop after the last crop falls out, after the Courtney Michelle's leave and start their own thing, and a new set of females come up, and they regurgitate the same old lame old shit over and over and over again. And they ask you, what's the solution? And you guys gotta explain that shit to them. Instead of telling them the real solution, which is to replace their ass. Do what these brothers are doing. Replace their ass. Start or new. But no, you can't do that because you see these chicks on the panel and you thirsty like that. It's easy. It's familiar. You know what it is. You're used to the, the devil that you're used to. That's what you're used to dealing with. You're afraid of dealing with the devil that you're not used to. That you don't know. You, you, you men are having headaches <clears throat> on the panel, stressing out because you're trying to explain to these broads what they should have known had they listened to quote unquote Kevin Samuels. Damn, how many times? I mean, yo, I've been binge watching his content, right? And the shit is amazing. Brothers. Brothers. Black men. It's a rap. I don't know why you're still trying. It's a wrap in these streets. I know there's some chicks, there's some VWs who aren't on that type of time, but they're few and far between, right? So you may get a collection of them that'll show up online and sit down on these panels and you think you can reason with them. Some of them are truly like that, the others are chameleons. Others are just faking it to get some attention, waiting for the right time to strike. They're agents, if you will. But even if you somehow get the so-called mythological talented 10th that even your boy Kevin Samuel says hasn't shown itself yet, this is the talented 10th talented that W.E.B. Du Bois was talking about a hundred years ago. But yet this talented 10th has not showed up in a hundred years. And this talented tenth, even if it showed up today, and started to sway the culture in the right direction, you don't have enough time. Why? Why is there not enough time? You may ask. Well, brothers, it was it's been a 50, a 40, 50 year march to get to where we are today. 60 maybe, 1965 to now. So you look at that 60 year run, come 2025. 
You think you're going to flip this shit overnight? You think you're going to get these broads to act right and in somehow five years there's going to be a whole new crop of, of, of young, virginal uh, 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 BWs out here that got really low body counts, they're submissive, and they're cooperative. They want to get married and have families. You think that's going to pop off in the next five years? You think in a decade you'll get enough chicks, enough women in the African American community that'll bring down the out of birth wedlock rate in the next 10 years? You think that's going to happen? You don't got enough time. Your population has been stagnant due to, you know what? And the dudes that have been breeding the most <clears throat> are your Quando Rondo, NBA Young Boy, King Von type, FBG Duck type, your Little Dirk type, Offset type, Future type. Bust and all types, and these ain't the rich type. These are the it's the type, but they're the wannabe types. The broke version of all those names that I list, list uh, that I stated. And these dudes busting all types of nuts, getting all types of these women pregnant. You're gonna come up to five generations of single mothers. Nineteen. 1975 or whatever it is a 15 year old gets pregnant 15 years later she's 15 no no 15 years later her child her daughter is 15 years old that child gets pregnant now the 30 year old mama is a grandmama 15 years later the granddaughter's 15 come up pregnant now at 45 she's a great grandmother Do you see what I'm saying? That's how many generations you're gonna be in now of single mothers reproducing with the same lame old bum ass nignobs. Same old lame old bum ass eggnog nignobs. And then they're gonna want you to be the cleanup man. Screaming about you passport bros. Got the whole world broads out in Asia clapping back at them. Because they mad. Because these broads here in the States are insulting their country, their peoples. Because they're mad that black men, black men alone, don't don't get it twisted with the white boys and stuff are traveling overseas looking for wives. And that's your problem. Because your BWs don't want to be wives. MBD out. You know, let me come back with a PS for that ass. Let me come back with a PS for that ass. You don't have enough time. Listen. They just look better. They just look better. I'm sorry. On mass. Just because of. Just based off of aesthetics alone. They just look better. They out here. The natural hair. Not wearing bonnets. Not too many of them walking around here with the sloppy ass flip flops. You know. They. They. They, they still respect their appearance. Of course, there's ugly broads in every culture, but in a certain culture that we know of, the community, sloppiness is becoming the norm and is becoming accepted. Where they don't care that they'll get on a YouTuber with a million plus subscribers with a bonnet on, with Dracula, tarantula eyelashes, with fingernails, you know, they're not wiping their ass properly with 
with all types of unnecessary caked up makeup. Looking like grape ape. And they want a brother, a black man or any man, but specifically a black man to wait around after they've been ran through by all the local bamboos, uh, bamboo, to all the local bamboos, the bamboos, not bamboo, the bamboos, although well, I'm having a hard time pronouncing the primate, the predator, the predator running through them like, like a hot knife through Butter Brothers. Baboons. Baboons. What the hell? Brothers. Listen. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. <sighs> they want you to be around to take care of them after they had all their fun after they came with all that drama after with all that baggage they want you to just hang around so they can have somebody that they can suck the life out of so you can die first and they can be that old bitch talking shit at church are you gonna be that dude is that gonna be you mad bus driver out